Hello friends, Saurabh here, uh, back again with another video at Progressive Coder. Uh, before we start, uh, first of all, a happy Makar Sakranti uh, to all of you out there. And uh, my goal for uh, this uh, particular channel is for it to become a kind of you know, learning resource for uh, any programmers who are looking for interviews or just you know enhancing their knowledge uh, over time. And today we are going to talk about a very specific problem, uh, find kth last element uh, from the linked list. Uh, so this problem, we are going to utilize one of the techniques which we also saw in the uh, previous video on this channel. Don't worry, I'll be getting into that technique again. Uh, so, but if you want, you can watch out uh, the previous video as well. Uh, uh, but today we are going to talk about uh, this specific problem. and. Uh, yeah, if you have not subscribed to this channel uh, till now, I would urge you to go ahead and you know click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to uh, press the notification button because that way, uh, as soon as we post a new video, you will get instantly notified by YouTube. So, right, uh, with that said, uh, we will start with discussing about the problem. Alright, so before we go any further, uh, let's understand what a linked list is. Uh, so a linked list is a collection of nodes where each node points to the next node. So if you see the example on the screen, uh, we have uh, the node 1 pointing to node 3 and node 3 is pointing to 5, 5 is pointing to 7 and 7 is pointing to 9. And this is how a linked list maintains its structure. Each node knows about the next node. And uh, this is a singly linked list because uh, the pointers are only one sided. So 3 would not know about its previous node, for example, over here. Uh, and a linked list also has head element. So in this case, the head is uh, the first element, that is 1. And the tail is the last element, uh, that is 9. And the tail points to null. So that signifies basically the end of the linked list. And this is a property that we are going to use uh, to solve our problem. Uh, in the next section, we'll see that. But uh, some of the important operations on a linked list uh, are like adding an element at the beginning. And that can be done in order of one time complexity, basically constant time complexity. Uh, adding an element at the end, that's also constant time because we can uh, find out the tail and then you know add another element uh, after that. Removing element from the beginning, again, constant time. The only thing uh, here is uh, when we do a removing of, the, of an element from the end of the linked list, then it takes linear time complexity. So if we want to remove the tail, for example, we have to traverse through the linked list reach element 7 and only then we can carry out the operation successfully. So these are the uh, basic properties of a linked list and this is the time complexity it takes for certain important operations in a linked list. Uh, in the next section we'll look at the problem which we are trying to solve. Alright, so what is the kth last element? Uh, let's first understand that. Uh, this will help us solve the problem. Uh, so let's take an example. Our linked list is having the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. 1 is the head, 9 is the tail and our job is to find uh, the kth last element. In this case, the value of k is 2. So how will this statement read in that situation? It will read like what is the second last element? Uh, which means that we have to find the element 7 because 9 is the last element, 7 is the second last element. Let's take another example. Uh, this time our value of k is 3. So this means what is the third last element and in this case the last element is 9, the second last element is 7 and the third last element is 5. Uh, so our job is to find this particular element. And uh, the main thing that the interviewer is looking for when asking this question is that can we do this in single pass? Because otherwise it is pretty easy. Uh, you can you know count the number of elements in a linked list and uh, then you can uh, traverse, uh, have a index uh, and traverse to the list and stop at the particular index which you want to. All right, uh, that is possible. However, uh, to do it in single pass, uh, this approach is not going to work out because we are iterating through the list potentially two times. So the main thing that the interviewer is looking for is can we do it in one pass and that is what we are going to try to solve in this particular problem. Alright, so time to look at the uh, solution to the problem and uh, uh, we'll work with the same example linked list 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. 1 is the head, 9 is the tail and 
In the first example, our job is to find the second last node. So the value of k is equal to 2. And as I discussed in the uh, earlier part of the video, uh, whenever we have a uh, we have linked list, you know, single pass, all these kind of things coming into the picture. Uh, we can use this tiny little trick of using two pointers. We have already looked at uh, problems in the past where we used two pointers to traverse uh, through a linked list in single pass uh, to do some objective. And uh, this time also we are going to use the same technique. So this time in the beginning, both our pointers are going to point to the head of the linked list. That is, they are at the same place, uh, pointing to node one and uh, the trick here is that we are going to move the second pointer two steps ahead. So we will move the second pointer to 3 and then to 5. And pointer 1 stays at the same place, pointing to the head of the linked list. No change over there. Now that our pointers are in place, we can start iterating through the list using both the pointers. So which means that we are going to move pointer 1 to 3 and pointer 2 to 7. And the key condition over here is that we'll keep this traversal going on till the second pointer reaches null. So at this point, we can see that pointer 2 is at is at node 7, which is not null. Uh, so we can keep on uh, continuing the iteration. Uh, so in the next iteration, pointer 1 reaches 5, pointer 2 reaches 9, which is a tail of the linked list. We can again check the condition P2 is not equal to null. So let's iterate again. Uh, so now we move pointer 1 to 7 and finally pointer 2 is at null which means we have reached the end of the linked list and now if you notice our pointer 1 is at uh, the node 7 which is incidentally the second last node in the linked list so we have successfully found the second last node and this is a tiny little trick to solve this problem using two pointers we have done it in single pass let's take another example uh, so this time the value of k is equal to uh, 3 which means we have to find the third last node right uh, again we start with two pointers p1 p2 pointing to the head of the linked list uh, in this case and as we did last time p2 this time will move three steps ahead because the value of k is equal to 3 so we'll move p2 uh, to element 3 then 5 and finally to 7. now that both the pointers are in place we can start iterate, iterating through the uh, list using the same condition until p2 is not equal to null uh, so uh, we move uh, both the pointers one step ahead so p1 reaches 3 p2 reaches 9 we will check if p2 is uh, is equal to null no it, it, it isn't right now we are pointing to 9 uh, so let's iterate again uh, so now p2 reaches null and p1 is at 5 so we can terminate the loop and what we see over here p1 is at the third last node in the linked list so basically we have again managed to find out the uh, element that we wanted to check in a single pass and this is all there is to this problem if you use two pointers uh, and you know we can do this problem in single pass which makes it really easy uh, so no matter what is the value of k given to you uh, you just have to iterate uh, p2 initially to that position and then once p2 reaches the end of the list your first pointer is going to point to the uh, kth last node in the list. Uh, so friends, this is all there is to this problem. Uh, hope you liked this uh, video. Uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. We are going to look at various uh, more problems uh, like this in the future. Uh, so please subscribe and also press the notification uh, bell icon because that will help you get instant notification whenever we upload a new video. Uh, with that said, uh, have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.